beautiful. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have another wig review for you. Sorry, I'm just also getting ready um, to put on the wig for you. Um, yeah, I've got another wig review for you. Uh, this time it is of the Amore Brandy wig, uh, which is a very long, luxurious, beautiful wig um, that has a double monofilament, which I'm really excited to show you. So let me go ahead and slap this on and we'll get started. All right, so Brandy. Um, this is something I've been looking at online for quite some time, but I've never had a chance to actually review her, so I'm really excited. Um, Brandy Amore comes in this very pretty, uh, very uh, basic, but also I think it's very understated, and I think it's very gorgeous, Amore, and it's got this pretty little shine on the name there. Uh, Brandy by Amore, and today I am reviewing her, I believe, in Chestnut. Yes, Chestnut. So, ooh, this is kind of red, y'all. Chestnut is red, like red, red, gorgeous red. I love red. <laughs> um, let me get her out of the bag here. Now I know from the specs, they've only given me one length and it's 21 inches. So I know that it's a very long wig, um, but I bet it's gonna be pretty. Hi ladies. So. I am editing this video and you guys are about to see me say a lot of stuff about how I don't understand this color um, and that's because I don't um, but <laughs> during a live video a lady did let me know that the color chestnut that's being referred to here is likely due to the um, the horse chestnut which is going to be like a reddish tone so that's why it says chestnut for this color um, to me chestnut is you're gonna hear me say it it's more of like a browner tone. So I wasn't fully understanding why this was called chestnut when it was so obviously a vibrant red. So I just wanted to pop in here and say that because I do know now that it is for um, the <laughs> equine animal. Um, but yeah, so enjoy. All right, so Brandy, man, that's pretty. That is such a pretty color. Now it does have brown in it, so that's chestnut part of it. It definitely does have brown in it, but it does also have plenty of warm red uh, tones. Oh my goodness, look at that color. That is beautiful. I don't have a color description, so we're gonna make this up as we go along. Uh, Amore didn't give me a color description for chestnut. Um, so I'm gonna say that we have some some definitely deeper brown base through there. Um, it does not appear to be a rooted shade. The highlights do go all the way up. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, kind of reminds me of chocolate cherry, um, the John Renault chocolate and cherry combination, um, but more cherry. Like it has definitely got plenty of red throughout there very beautiful multi-dimensional highlights. I just think that's very pretty color. And look at how long it is. This is this is some long hair. All right, let's look at the cap. Now inside of Moore's uh, cap, sorry guys, give me a second. We have some hair popping through the weft. And if you haven't seen me do this trick, just stick a rat tail comb through your um, wefts here grab a hold of that hair and pull it on through and that will help to get rid of that for you. Okay, so I went ahead and cut off the tags. Let me give her a quick little comb through and then we will put her on. All right, um, oh, I'm sorry. Before I put her on, double monofilament, the cap construction, I got distracted. Um, we have double monofilament. As you can tell, uh, this is very uh, not see-through, very opaque, um, and it has that nice silicone band right there in the front. That's gonna help it to stay on. You can also put some nice uh, wig tape on there. That would also be nice. Uh, but for the most part, this double monofilament has some of the best, more realistic parting spaces. It's gonna completely cover up my band here, so it's gonna look really nice. Um, also, it is an open wefted cap design. There's no uh, felt covered ear tabs 
or nape or anything. It just has the bra strap adjusters, but it does have a little bit of an extension here on the neck. Okay, so Brandy um, is very long. So 21 inches overall. Um, so make sure that with synthetic long styles like this that you keep your, uh, your wide tooth comb with you to take care of any tangles that you might get throughout the day. Um, it also has this bang. Now this is a very long bang. Now I don't have any specs on how long it is by judging how long my face is, knowing that it's seven inches. Um, I'm gonna guess this is about a seven inch to eight inch bang, um, which creates this really pretty layer through here. Uh, but if it were me, I would cut a full bang in this just because it is not a lace front. You wanna make sure that you have as natural of, um, a hairline as possible. So I'd probably cut a bang and that would take care of that. Um, you could leave some of the longer layers and just cut like a little sparse bang through there or you can slide sweep them if the non lace front doesn't bother you. Uh, but this is Brandy and how long she is. So let me go ahead and do a 360 so you guys can see what she looks like from all sides. I'm very sad that they didn't actually give me any more specs as far as how long these layers are. But given that my face is seven inches, we probably have some 12 inch, some 14 inch layers through here. And then overall it is 21 inches in length. Um, very pretty. I did not change the adjusters out, but um, there, this feels pretty tight on me. I have a 21.75 uh, inch head. Um, and this feels a little tight. So uh, I don't think this is gonna be too big for head friendly, just FYI, but I do have my hair in a bun back here, which might be adding a little bit of extra bulk. Um, but make sure just to check uh, the cap measurements. It says average on the website. So uh, make sure you pull it out if you have a bigger head and then it hopefully will fit you guys a little bit better. But it's a beautiful color. Chestnut's a beautiful color. Brandy's a beautiful wig. I would cut a full bang into it if it were me. Um, and just like I mentioned, just make sure you keep your comb with you to get these tangles out because synthetic hair that is longer does tangle more easily than shorter synthetic hair. All right, if you guys want to pick up Brandy by Amore, uh, go over to wigstudio1.com and make sure to check out uh, there if they have any type of coupon codes for you. If any exist, I'll make sure to keep them in the comments, um, sorry, in the description of this video. Um, I'll keep that updated for you. As well as when you're online, head on over to Facebook and check out Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Uh, there you're gonna find myself as well as the other employees Wig Studio One and thousands of other uh, ladies that are there to help you through your hair loss journey. All right, until next time, bye-bye beautiful. Thank you.